Hello guys and girls and welcome to AI Artist TV. We are in Meet Journey version 5 and guys, this is awesome. I'm fascinated about version 5, the possibilities and everything we can do with version 5. It is amazing. Many things I have been complaining to many of my videos. Now they are not more in the plate. And from now on, I'm only doing Meet Journey version 5 and uh, we're going to be learning a lot how to make it more and more and more and more. This video, this first video that I'm doing in version 5 will be a little bit of back to the basics. I want to speak about the prompt structure first. The prompt structure is a little different than version 4. We can do better, we can do very interesting what we can do in the prompt structure of version 5. So we're going to have to learn again. I had to learn again last week to, to, to structure my prompt again and I want to share this today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the different levels of complexity on the prompt. Uh, and uh, I want you to learn how to structure a prompt for version 5. For those who are just joining now this world of AI, it would be great because they can kind of as a good spot to, to get in and start and start watching from here on on version 5. And those who are transitioning will be perfect to see the difference and to start learning again. So let's talk about the prompt structure and how to prompt the best structure in the mid version 5. Well, from now on, you, a prompt engineer, you, someone, able to write a prompt and understand what you're doing and controlling your prompt, I want you to see yourself like a art director of, a, of an agency, for example. And uh, Mid Journey version 1 and version 2 and maybe version 3, it was like a junior that was creating what you're asking. Mid Journey version 4, I would say it was already a mid-level audience, an artist that is full of ideas and you're asking one thing, you already bring more than, than, than you are expecting. The new version 4 was really very skillful already. But now on mid version 5, you got a senior artist to work for you. And the senior artist has something very different. And I know that for my life in real life, when you work with senior people, master people, master level people, you have to be more precise on what you ask for them because they will bring you exactly what you ask, the result, what you are expecting. That happens to me during version 5 now. If you ask for something, they will probably gonna bring you exactly that that you're asking. And without adding any much to, to consider what you are maybe would, would like, but what you mentioned, you're gonna be the best one. This is now we are working with a very high level artist for us, okay? Okay, now here in the Discord, I will tackle, uh, one, one of the first things I, I heard people say about me, Journey 5 was, oh my God, now they give you photos and everything is photo. And, and I was watching, you know, I was not trying to me Journey version 5 yet. I got amazed, oh my God. So write something that it cannot be in a photo, for example, that it's fantastic, fictional. That's what the first thing I tried. When I realized that me, Journey version 5, it is, exactly what it's supposed to be. If you watch something that exists, it will bring you a photo because if you write something that doesn't exist, it probably will draw for you something. And that's, and that's what my first test and that was my, one of the biggest things that people were saying. So to start the fun here, for example, just uh, if I come here and ask for a uh, prop of a Persian cat, now me do me journey version five, it gives me a four, uh, four photos of a Persian cat because Persian cat is a real animal. So understand that if something is real and you don't specify any style or anything, a mid journey version 5 will give you a photo as it should, because I'm not saying what kind of drawing or if I want an illustration or not. So Persian cat is a, is a real thing. For example, instead of a Persian cat, you write down a spaceship. Mid journey will not give you a photo of a spaceship. Now mid journey 5 will give you an illustration of a spaceship because this is something fictional. That both for mid journey version 5, it is very important. So you get perfect control of what, why what you're doing suddenly become a picture and why what you're doing suddenly become a photo or, or, or an illustration, a photo, how this, why this happening. Every time you ask something that Big Journey cannot portray in a, in, in a photo, it will create an illustration for you. So here we go. As I said, there's a result we have here. If I asked for a Persian cat, Persian cat is something that exists in the world. They're going to give me photo, photos. If it's something that doesn't exist, it will give me a picture. Even if you go with your illustration and you create something fictional in, the, in a photo, create something too hard put in a photo, majority will, will regress to, to illustration. Okay? So that's the, the, the first step that I want is to be very, very clear about one of the biggest things that we're going to be dealing with. Without even saying the method, I didn't need to measure anything. Real things will be photo, it's fictional things it will be illustration. Okay, so let's move now to my promise to talk about the prompt uh, structure here. I will divide the prompt structure in four levels for us to understand. The levels will be like you see the screen right now. Level one, we're going to be talking all about the subject. The level two, I'm going to talk about the subject plus styles. Level three, subject, styles and effects. And level four, 
I will talk about composition, which is a new thing on mid version 5. And then we're going to be talking about subject styles and, and, and effects. Those are the four basic um, levels of prompting. There's a, there's a world of things inside of that. But these are the, the basic structure that we're going to be working now on the, I would say, in April of uh, April, May of 2023. I'm saying that because maybe the version 5 evolve. It had, there is room to evolve with some stuff. But uh, right now, that's the best. That's the four levels of structure that I have been working and have the best results. Okay. When, I, when I'm working with a subject and, and level 1 is just a subject, uh, we're going to be asking to meet Jerry to deal with some elements which are only about what we want to see. I, don't, I will not mention anything that is not going to be in the picture, not going to be in the image. So talking about the subject, for example, I can write down it's for the same literal example, I can write down like this. I can write down, for example, a boy running in the streets wearing a blue shirt and a brown pants. This is only, only subject. I'm not adding any other element of prompt engineering here besides a subject. Although there are four elements on how I structure a line of subject. Although maybe this can be considered basic English. I'm talking here about something which I I have some connectors that me Johnny read very well. Those those are those are like this. Uh, let me try to show a little bit in the screen now. Those are like the, the one you see in the screen. A subject I I can put an, an actor. In the case, okay, in the case that there we are working on an actor, okay, I can put an actor that the hands or is in a description wearing clothes in background. So this this has is wearing and in are crucial for 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 for, for understanding when you are doing a creation with with, with an actor, okay? Maybe you're doing maybe with architecture, maybe you're doing a a, a a a scene. It can be different, but I'm saying when you're dealing with with an actor, that's this will be the problem. So. Here we have, as and as I said, again, I'm, I'm working with elements, which is exactly exists. So it told me journey can give me exactly what, I, what I'm asking for. I put here a boy running in streets in the blue shirt and brow pads. Me journey continues sometimes having problems to define, to define where the color goes. I can work with a little better about this. But here we have one kid exactly as I asked it. If I, re if I reload two or three more times, I probably have a lot of kids with blue shirt and brown pants. It's very literal. See, Mid Journey didn't add any elements, anything. Did it? Did maybe one thing he did maybe was choose some cameras from me because he, he's doing photos. But I, I have the, the very basic example. I can go here, for example, and add another prompt. A spaceship is trying to dock in a space station being attacked by other ships. So, as you see here again, I'm now, I'm now making a scene. But I'm kind of using the very same or similar connectors between to structure my subject. I'm putting the, the actor, right? The, 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 the subjects, the actor is, okay, the say ship is trying. Then I say what, what is happening with, with, with the subject. Then I go trying to dock at and at could be the in substitution of the wearing at a, a space station being attacked by other ships. So when I'm doing that, since I'm now not specifying what I want here, and this is clearly a fictional thing, Midjourney will, will bring me an illustration. Here we go. Midjourney brings brings to me illustrations of a space conflict, space combats, and things happening. This is the level one. What I always say is that we are we only have control over reality here about what we are mentioning. So if we mention something too spectacular, we're gonna be like a, like a thing. So let's let's play a little bit more with this here. So I can I can put elements. I can say a cat wearing a bow tie and, and a hat. The majority will give me a, a cat wearing a bow tie and a hat. But although if I say a cat where a cat is flying with dragon with a cat just fly with dragon wings wearing bow tie and hat. When I when I add the dragon wings and the bow tie hat, you're gonna see that the, what he was perfectly doing as a photo suddenly become an illustration. Okay, I think in the level one, in the level one, control the subject, search of subject, very simple. We are not doing anything special here. We are just controlling reality of what we want to see. And of course, uh, on this on this on this level here is where, for example, Chat GPT can help you a lot. Uh, write down what you want to TS hand to come with a with a short form uh, of subject and, and this is will be something where you can you have no no limit to what you can put here and by the way if we get the V journey magazine that was out you're gonna see there are some there, there are there are several 
several images in the magazine which was just subject not not even some of them a few of them not even see effects was just a subject of course me journey 4 was adding a lot of stuff but that's what i'm saying same thing goes here look when i asked for get the bow tie a photo with a cat the bow tie totally totally possible to get a photo about this when i ask a photo when i added the same cat dragon wings he gotta make pictures for me let's move on now to the level two Okay, when we jump for the level 2, Mid Journey version 5 blessed us with a very strong division between now subject and everything else you want to add a picture. And this is one sentence and a very small sentence that we could see that works perfect with the integration of the describe became clear for us from engineers that are now where we use in the style of is a big moment where Mid Journey bot can say, okay, now I'm gonna talk about the style and the effects. And now he's not talking anymore about the subject. And this is good to help us out separate our project in. Okay, this is now I'm stressing the, the subject in style off. I'm going to start to play with everything else. And this is level two. When I go to level two, I will do something here in the, in the old way. I will put here, for example, a, a cat in the style of oil painting. I will add one here. A cat in the style of watercolor. A cat in the style of photography. A cat in the style of a digital illustration. Now I will totally change the, the way the cats are portrayed doing in the style off. I don't have to say in the beginning of the prompt, I don't have to say in the middle of the subject, but this is one of the things I'm using as media. Let it be journey to know this is the media I want my cat to be portrayed and he's creating the four cat no more as a photo and now as the style that I'm asking. We have here the watercolor, the photography of the cat as a digital illustration and a oil painting as well. Those are the four cats, but you're watching me doing that and you probably said this, oh my God, uh, uh, Katarus, you don't need more to do this kind of uh, many props at the same time. Me, Jerry version 5, brought us now something that you're going to see now using a lot it's called permutations this is what i did here type before prompts i don't need to do that anymore and i would not do that anymore on version 5. i can create a single prompt and i can say a cat and i'm putting here already some permutations i put a cat and a dog and i will put in the style of i'd say oil painting what the color photography digital illustration so i gave all, all the same things but i just one prompt and by the way in this prompt i even add the dog as well even if i do this kind of permutations they will now ask me so you're gonna create eight props are you sure you can show the props here so a cat in the style of the oil painting just did and the dog in the style of oil painting and all this so if i click yes you're gonna create for me the eight prompts with with all the permutations that i ask here i come back when it's done okay and now here we have all the eight prompts that uh that it created with a single prompt glide it created eight results for me here so i have a lot of cats and dogs and uh if as a photography as our oil painting as a digital illustration as as oh yeah as a watercolor so i have all the eight here at this second level here that is important to say that i uh, now references become something extremely important because references can englobe a lot of style things and of course one of the most common reference that we use in Mid Journey is artists and other artists, other photographers, other other expressions of art. And this is going the style of. And also we have aesthetics. So concept of look, concept of, of fashion, concepts of ideas. I, about aesthetics, I will make a, spe a special video about this because it really now opens a, a lot of fields for us to explore. But we are first using only definitions of style for my subject but let's use now here adding the, the reference as i'm saying here so what i'm doing here now i'm gonna put a, a image a persian cat in the style of e.h shepherd e.h shepherd is a, is an artist so that when i do that here in the style of i didn't need i, I don't need to say now it's an oil painting i don't need to say you now it's a watercolor or what is I just can say an artist and when i say he's an artist when i put a name of an artist normally i overwrite medios Okay, I don't know. I do not overwrite other stuff, other other possible things to use in style, but I I am overwriting pretty much everything we can say about media. And adding medium in our same time is something that only if you put the same media as the artist doing, so you don't need to do anyway. And now one of the things amazing about me journey in the version five, it is very very good on mixing artists. Now this is E. H. Shepard. So again, I just put Persian cat in the style of, of an artist, and it gives me this this kind of result because that's the style for this artist. Let's add here another one, someone very different, the Peter Harbert Keel. So Peter Harbert Keel is a very different style. It's a style full of colors. I'm probably adding much more brush of colors in a guy that I used to to do what more thin lines and pastels that's why i'm mixing here so now i'm using in the style of yet shepherd and peter robert keel when i use those two now you're gonna give me now a style that doesn't exist which is the style of those two artists mix it if you are creating using artists 
use more than one, create your own mix style, probably creating your own. So this is now the mix of the two artists, which really create a very different style that we have here. I even have a result that I use four of that, but four is already very hard to distinguish what's happening, but maybe you can inclinate your style that you're creating for some area. You can use a reference of artists again. I have seen that mid journey when you use the scribe he normally very rarely use more than three references as well three artist reference is probably good enough to anything you want to do another important thing to add here the order the order who comes first or after makes no difference saw some people saying that oh no if you add the, the, the first artist has more more presence than the second artist it makes no difference i tested many times with artists with very different styles i didn't see any difference between adding first or, or unless uh, the name of the artist okay i think what have a big difference is if what you are trying to, to, to draw that artist has some input on it has more his database about this this thing so for example ea shepherd probably has more thing closest to a persian cat so they probably got a more influence use the artist on the second level i'm pretty much work on the level of just adding a style to something that i'm writing here no more is no one gonna be a photo if it's something real now we're gonna not i can i can add a style i could go a long way about that there's a lot of things about about style there's a lot of reference about style those who are participating on my patreon can have all the access to to a database of many of those terms many of those terms all of the terms that, that used to work on big journey four words or five you just need to add then in this after the style off it's being the best you are just putting comma and add it there and by the way you can use comma as well you don't need to use and see here i use and here use comma made no difference as well the very same style that is happening on both here let's not invest to level three now because uh in the style of and give a style there's a word things to do it i i speak about the structure here not the not the exact the term so i'm just giving very few examples but that's the second level the second level you made a, a a very good subject you just want to give a style and you and you see the result and by the way Start like this. Don't, don't try to create a prompt done to be tackling that. If I, if I if I know when I'm going to do a project, I normally start with the just the subject, then I add the styles, and then I'm gonna add the effects now, which we go for the for the level three of our prompt structure. Let's talk about now the the effects. Okay, now on the level three, we're gonna be playing a little bit more with the effects. And uh, when I say effects, I'm I'm adding a lot of stuff here. I'm adding lights, I'm adding quality, details, I'm adding a lot of stuff that will come after you use all the references you want you want to use. Okay. So after you define the styles that you want, then you can start adding effects. But of course, effects can change and can influence the style, and that's you're gonna be learning on the future videos or play with. But now let's talk about the second part of, of this in the style of first think about the style and now think about the effect on level three i got a problem like this and as, as you see i'm using i will be using permutations already so i put a cat in the style of oil painting but now i'm adding all the results i want to see the difference between them i'm doing a permutation so i'm putting here four expressions which are expressions of effects they are colorful texture a uh, thick paint shiny gloss and by the way when i'm using now effects it's very important what kind of of medium i decide to use for my style in this case here i'm using oil painting those works very well with oil painting probably if i was a, a photography i probably would not be using colorful or 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 or, or I, maybe i would maybe i would not use it maybe i would use the different way different term and i probably would not be used as well the Thick paint, thick paint would be not make any sense for photography, for example. So some of the terms will be specific for the medium you are playing with. Here, let's see the results of, in this case here, of those four prompts. I would say yes here, and I come back when, when they are done. Okay, so now here we have the four results with first a cat in the style of oil painting texture. You see here's a lot of textures in the fur. There's a lot of very, very textured, all, all, the, all the image. They are, they're very good at adding a lot of textures. Then we have here the thick paint. So now I'm really with a big stroke, a lot of paint in, in, in the add, added to the to the graphic, thick paint. And now here I have the oil painting colorful, using a lot of different colors, the background and the cat and the fur, so a lot of tonalities. And here we have the shine, so a lot of light. Of course, I'm here using each of them to see the difference between them. And I show you, then you can start picking them and putting together. Well, 
Speaking about oil painting, there's more than 50 different terms of style that you can use. At this moment now, I think it's a good moment to, to talk a little bit about how you build up your repertoire. Because right now, on, on Mid Journey version 5, it became even more important the number of terms and the number of elements you know how to use and you know when, when you can use and you know the result you can get. Uh, Mid Journey version 5 is much more based on references than it was in mid-journey version 4. The mid-journey version 4 was doing a lot of things for you. Now you have to mention the reference that you want. I want to take a break now for one minute just to give you a very important information about how I can help you with this. How I can help you not spending a lot of prompts, a lot of money, a lot of tries to get what you want is accessing to my Patreon. I have a Patreon right now with almost 150 members where I classify and I create different spreadsheets, different sheets showing all the all the elements that as you can see here in our screen. For example, I have a list of artists that you can see here on the on the all the list of more than 2000 artists, methods, uh, aesthetics, uh, terms, many things now you can be using on my journey version 4. I have already I'm everything I'm testing, I'm adding to those those spreadsheets okay so with amount from 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 three dollars to fifty dollars you can join the, the the patreon and you can have access to these paratoire things I, i'm quite sure if you are creating in mid journey if you are want to be a proper engineer you're gonna need those assets and uh and i hope you consider to join the community we have a patreon channel we have we, we, we can ask questions there we can talk there we can we can do a lot of stuff together and my collect contribu contribution here is putting everything i'm learning on those as spreadsheets and i hope that you consider join my patreon to have access to g because it's gonna be using a lot of things now for example the next one i'm gonna do now continue speaking about the style the the effects now the effects we can give for example for photography is the cameras so i'm now gonna put here another prompt which i'm using uh, a list of of cameras for example that was for for one of the spreadsheets uh, of of my patreon so I'm going to create here another prompt and I put in a cat in the style of photography and I'm going to put here four different cameras. I'm sorry. I'm not now going to put here four different film stocks. I'm adding the Agfa Ultra 100, the Fujifilm Veolia 50, the Il Ford HP 5 Plus and the Kodak Gold 20. So those are four different film stocks which are amazing to work and uh, very different between them. Uh, that's why I select that. You can find those four, um, I think more than uh, one in 80 now, film stocks, joining my Patreon and accessing the, those spreadsheets, okay? Now, I before I was giving effects that make sense with oil painting. Now I'm giving effects, I'm adding film stocks to give effects on a photo, on a photography. So that's how you're gonna be learning how to play, what the kind of what, what kind of things you are using. In this video here now, I, I don't have time to show everything you can use about lights, details, about quality. There's a lot of terms that goes here now. My next video will be covering specific each of those areas. I, I will make another video covering specific film stocks and all that. But just saying, after the style, you go for those, all those terms related with effects, which is a world of things. So here we have the Coda Gold 20, very yellowish, very, 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 a little bit sepia on things here. We have, we have the U4, which is a, which is a black and white one, very, one of the best black and whites in the world. We have here the Fujifilm Vevia, uh, uh, the, the 50 was a very filmographic one, which is give a amazing, amazing effect. And we have a here uh, uh, the Agfa Ultra 100, a little bit more 70s and 80s picture, which is which is very interesting as well. Other thing I'm using here is just say in the style of and added a photography, what film stock I want me to be using. Me journey now is very specific on, on, on using very well, better than in version four, the kind of over here. All your knowledge for me journey version four will come now for in the style of. You just need to organize it better, okay? And, uh, and understand what, what goes with what. And this is a little bit of try and error, try and error as well. Let's now jump to what's best to level four and talk a little bit about what I'm referring as composition. Okay, uh, and once into level four now, we're speaking about composition. I will divide it two parts. I will say views and compositions. When I say views, uh, I'm, I'm speaking about angles, distance, and things like that, and composition. That's still being part of one area before the before the the subject so most of the things everything you need to do in, in media right now probably you don't need to go that level but if you want a specific angle a specific uh, a specific distance specific close-up you probably can be using this i will call positions and distance as view 
and also what belongs here before the subject is composition. So let me give you some example. I can put close up a cat in the style of photography and I'm using the, the Kodak, Kodak Gold 20 that I just used before. Uh, close up a cat in the style of photography, Kodak Gold 20. And for example, I can give you here as well, just so guys see what I'm saying. I can put that extreme close up, extreme close up, a cat in the style of photography of Kodak Gold uh, trade. So in the style of still belonging there and this thing close up, I don't put between styles or between effects. I know we don't put here. I have seen it can work, majority can deal with, but honestly, it's better you create you 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 create the scenarios that I mean the technical part of the scenarios we are creating here. So as you see here, when I put before the prompt, yeah, so I, I I can just say the distance. I'm just talking about one example is distance, could be angles, could be other stuff. As I, again, my picture has a have reference for more than 50 possible angles and distance. So here we go. I just see that the, the close up and extreme close up. And then I say cat and the style of photography, Kodak code. So that's where, where, I, where I'm going here. But now we are not using medium here on this first area as we, as we are using in general four. We're just using here controls of distance and angles. Okay. Besides that, we gotta be using one thing called compositions. I'll be honest with you, I still explore compositions. I still hunt in those compositions because those compositions are terms that encompass a lot of elements together and create one result. I have found some and I'm still capturing more and I'm adding as well to a spreadsheet on my Patreon and I'm adding more. Composition, they have a specific setup that works for a specific kind of image. So for example, when I add for celebrity image mashups, Celebrity image mashups is a composition. What is what term that works only like this? Celebrity image mashup only works when you're working with an image on two, three, or three fourths uh, vertical in the version five. So when I add celebrity image mashups, look what happened because this is a composition. <laughs> I tried this in different terms, in different angles, in different type of things. Celebrity image mashups works perfect with female models, and you can use as well with, with, with male with with guys with men, but it works very well with the male model. This is the best thing. So as you see here, I didn't say anything and it creates some different like uh, ads and like uh, mashups of styles and, and create something very different. And those are compositions already with elements. It would be very hard to explain if, if, if I was going to write, I have to write a big, a big setup, big prompt, or even go to Photoshop to do, but now those compositions exist as well. So this is one example. I already have more than 20 that I, that I, that I, that I found, but this is one example. What is, what is a celebrity image mashup? I can show you more for you. For example, this one here is very interesting as well. Sometimes it will deal with the whole mood and kind of, of the picture. So if I put this one here, that another, another composition is called uniformly staged images. It's another composition as well. And I put a lady in brown dress. It's a very specific style, specific kind of picture. And it's of kind of picture, for example, as well, there are some compositions related with specific events or moments. So for example, I can give you one of this as well. A composition that, that is called senior portrait photography. So that's normally the photography that, that I would say that people take after the, the formative, the graduation. That kind of picture of after graduation, I think it's called senior portrait photography. And it will give always a very similar style and only works with, with girls, by the way, most of the time. And give a very specific style of photography, always turning, they do some positions, very characteristic of uh, senior portrait photography, okay? So here we have the uniformly staged the image, a lady. So we're gonna get a lot of those dark backgrounds with someone staying very stiff, very, very straight positions. It's, it's very, it's very interesting, the, this composition as well. You can play with different elements with, with different kind of people there, but now this term of uniformly staged image, it, it gives some kind of different compositions for it. So here, for example, for senior portrait photography, you're gonna see a lot of those pictures by the side like this. So compositions and view before the prompt. So guys, um, I put it here now on the screen, the four levels of prompt that I can really say that you can dominate right now. Maybe we've got to add more complexity, especially about styles that we start having level two and forward. There's a lot of things we can, we can add here. I will create a lot of videos now specific about what to use there. I might create some videos as well, talk a little bit more about control and, and, and use of the best of, as possible subjects and also compositions and views, etc. Consider to join my Patreon. Please, if you, if you stay with me in this whole video and learning and figuring out how to make a better prompt, search your prompt, I ask you to give you a like, to give a subscribe. 
Uh, this is, this is, I believe, this is the only channel uh, at least that I found that's specific, specific about prompt engineering. Maybe there's more that that tackle a little bit. That I don't do, uh, I don't do anything else here besides talking about prompt engineering. And I hope you guys like. See you guys next time. Thank you so much.